Coach Oates ready for that post game show. And the Bears did it. Uh, a lot of freshmen out on the court there for Portland State and the experience really showing for the Bears. Yeah, I thought we played like a veteran group tonight. We weren't flawless by any means, but uh, I liked our service line. That has been an Achilles heel in a negative way for us uh, up until this point. And we're 10 aces, three airs tonight. So I'll take that. Um, yeah. And I thought we blocked well tonight. CeCe gives us a little more size and she came up with some big blocks and slowed down their offense a little bit. So two things that we have been struggling with that I thought were positives tonight. Absolutely, you know, CC have a, especially right there at the end, three in a <laughs> blocks row. in one volley. Um, just terrific play there. Nice to see her progressing this season and catching mm -hmm. up with the pace of the Big Sky Conference. Absolutely, yeah, she just continues to improve. So looking forward to that. Uh, Taylor Muff barely missing out on another double-double, 10 kills, nine digs. She would basically, would have been her 11th on the season, but uh, so super close to that one. Uh, KJ with another 16 kills, and Daisy Schultz coming away with 39 assists, just really plugging away at that 180 until she takes the single season record. Same thing with KJ for those single season kills. Kelly Arnold with 455. What a great name to be said. In, your, in the same conversation. Yeah, yes. yeah, exactly. So KJ just having a phenomenal season. And I thought Jaden was really good for us offensively tonight, especially in the first two sets. We didn't set her as much in the third set, not intentionally. That's kind of just how it played out. But she had 10 kills at the break. So five sets or five kills a set for her is really good. That just continues to mean we're more balanced because that is somebody that teams maybe haven't paid attention to. She's getting her kills, but she's not, you know, it's all, been all about KJ and Muff and then maybe Lauren and then maybe Jaden and so Jaden leading us in kills at the break and finishes second uh, at, by the end of the match. She's hitting 455 for the night. I think yeah. that's like her third or fourth game in the row where she's hitting over 400 in her hitting percentage. So absolutely yes, the Bears are so well balanced all over. You have McCartney, you have Muff, you have so all your pins are hitting great. Then you have Lauren who's got those top numbers and players coming in off the bench in Kendall and in Laura Katarzynski coming in and scoring points. Points yes. are being scored all over the place. So I have an interesting question for you. When you think of Taylor Els as what made you know that you wanted her with your program before she even came here, what's the memory that comes to mind? Well, I don't think it'll be any surprise because People have seen it for four years, but her feistiness. Mm -hmm. Like you see a lot of controlled players and you know, I think Kendall Feather is one of those type of players, but I like Taylor's feistiness. She is just a go-getter. She is gonna fight until that ball actually hits the floor. And so you just can't replace that. That's an intangible that's hard to coach. And did you see that when you saw her in Nebraska or when you were able to? Absolutely, and she was, you know, I didn't see her a ton as a recruit. She came with great referrals. And so we, that's part of recruiting is you kind of trust your sources who had worked with her a lot with private lessons and her club coaches who we trusted. And they all said, this is a kid. I mean, her class in Nebraska was loaded with great liberos. And a couple of people said, we think this is the best one in terms of the, the whole package of being a great student, a great leader, feisty, great parents that are supportive. She really had the whole package and we've seen that play out over four years. I think it is so fortunate for this larger class of juniors, this larger class of sophomores that are playing together now to have a chance to have played with her because that's infectious. Oh, absolutely. And her spirit is going to continue to be there even if she can't be on the court because of what she meant to those players. So even missing those two, weeks, especially missing those two weeks, showing you just how much she means to this program. Yes. So she's going to be missed. Yes. So we enjoy saying thank you to Taylor Ells, and hopefully she gets to continue on five more games in her season as we're hoping the Bears make it to that Big Sky Championship game and just continue to whittle away at that digs record. Uh, her dig numbers for tonight uh, coming away with 12. So, you know, maybe she'll take all six of those games, but that means that we're spreading it out and they're, and all the Bears are getting numbers, which is yes. no ego. That's what this season is exactly. about. Exactly, all about the team.